are back in Vegas this week and we're coming to you from the Glass Association of North America's Building Envelope Contractors Conference. That's BEC for short. I'm Ellen Rogers, editor of U.S. Glass Magazine. I'm here with more than four hundred of the industry's finest who are ready for education, networking, and a whole lot more. Let's get started. The conference began Sunday afternoon with the BEC Technical Committee meeting. Chuck Knickerbocker with Technical Glass Products chairs that group. They talked about developing a certification program for contract lasers. There's a lot of potential for a program like this, but still a lot of work to do. NACC is doing a great job of certifying uh, glazing subcontractors as a company, rating them and certifying them as being good business practice and whatnot. Uh, Ama has worked on a uh, fenestration masters. We want to develop something more closely uh, related to glazing along those lines. So we spent a lot of time talking about tying into the AMA effort with fenestration and, and how to approach it from a glass standpoint. The issue that we constantly deal with in technical committee is that we get a lot of representation from the uh, manufacturers. We need to get more input from the glazing subcontractors. And so we'll reach out to them via survey, via emails and whatnot to get their more involvement. But from what I hear, what I heard today was the glazers in the room are looking for something like that. They recognize the value in getting their people up to speed more quickly, better, cheaper, faster. Now, don't let the smaller technical committee crowd fool you. Monday morning, the conference will be packed. The crowds will gather for a full day of sessions. Some topics include a glazing industry update from Serge Martin of AGC, as well as vowels of success from Baseball Hall of Famer Johnny Bench. But before all that, BEC gets started with a jam-packed welcome reception. We spent some time with a few attendees and found out what they're looking forward to from this year's event. Let's take a look. To me, just the uh, networking with other glazing subcontractors from other parts of the country and finding out that, you know, that they have the same problems we do in the industry and, and, and being able to discuss you know, ways to solve some of those problems. That, that's what we get out of mostly. I'm very interested in the panel on the jumbo size glass. That has a high interest for me. So I just installed in Palo Alto a piece of glass that's 103 inches wide and 320 inches tall, insulated glass. And then I have a project coming up with 10 foot wide by 35 foot tall laminated glass units. You will see more and more of it. It takes a lot of planning and consideration to, to tackle something like that. There's a lot of risk to it. Yeah, the uh, North American Contractor Certification, the International Certification for Glazing Contractors, FCA International as the sponsor of the program is really interested in having that program be presented to the entire market so they can see the positive impact that this program is going to have for the glazing industry. That brings us to the end of today's BEC report. Be sure and check out usgnn.com for more of our special event coverage and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ellen Rogers.